welcome back to the Lexi Hair Channel. My name's Eastiana, and in today's video, we're talking about how to incorporate rice water into your daily hair routine. So what are the benefits of using rice water, how to do it, how to prepare it, how to use it. So let's get into it. So using rice water as a beauty treatment has been used for centuries historically across Asian cultures, especially in Japan. As an Asian person myself, rice has always been in my life, it's always at home, we eat it all the time. It's a really accessible and affordable DIY way of treating and maintaining your hair health. Especially if you have dry hair or color treated hair or damaged hair, rice water is awesome for strengthening your hair from root to tip and really making your hair look and feel stronger and smoother. Rice water reduces friction so your hair is not rubbing together which causes damage, breakage. It also increases the elasticity of each of your strands, making them stronger, and it seals and closes the cuticles of your strands, leaving your hair looking and feeling extra shiny. If you use rice water, because it reduces that friction, you're probably gonna notice less tangling happening, happening in your hair. It's a great detangler because it makes your hair so smooth and shiny, and because it helps strengthen your hair if you're trying to grow your hair longer or grow it out. Rice water's been known to help boost hair growth. So now that we know all the awesome benefits that rice water has on your hair, let's talk about how to actually use it and incorporate it into your weekly or daily routine. So the good news is you can use any type of rice that you have on hand or at the grocery store, jasmine, white, brown, wild rice even, and it's super easy and quick to make. So what you can do is take half a cup of uncooked rice, you wanna rinse it first, then you're gonna add two to three cups of water to the bowl of rice, and then you're just gonna let it soak for about 30 minutes. Some people like to actually ferment the rice, so they'll leave it up to 24 to even 48 hours soaking. So if you've got time to allow it to ferment and do that, then go ahead and do that. But 30 minutes, if you're in a pinch for time, is also enough to reap benefits. So once time is up, you're gonna strain the rice water into a new clean bowl, and then you can bring that bowl into the shower with you. So first you wanna wash your hair regularly with shampoo. You wanna make sure that your hair is clean and fresh. Once you've washed your hair, then you can start pouring the rice water onto your head and evenly as much as you can distributing it across your hair so it touches all of the strands from root to tip. This can be a little tricky or messy, so I like to bring a little cup with me into the shower so I can do a little bit at a time and just sort of dump it over my head and sort of use my hands to absorb it and bring it down to the rest of my hair. If you have certain areas on your scalp or your ends, for example, if they're super dry or you know have, you have certain areas that have more damage than others, you can concentrate more of the rice water onto those areas. Then you can go ahead and use your fingers to gently massage your scalp and head and hair. Side note, scalp massages are also great for hair growth. Then you wanna leave the rice water on your hair for 20 minutes, so you're gonna let it absorb and soak in all the nutrients, all the proteins, and really let it do its work. So during that time, I like to do the other things in the shower, such as washing my body, shaving, exfoliating, all of that good stuff. And then you wanna rinse it out. Just use lukewarm water, and you wanna make sure that you are thoroughly rinsing out all of the rice water. You don't wanna leave any remaining on your hair. The reason why is the abundance of protein. If it's left on your hair for too long, it can actually dry out your hair, so do the opposite of what we want. So just be sure to rinse very thoroughly. Then afterwards, you can finish off and seal the deal with your regular conditioner, and then I usually like to rinse out the conditioner with colder water. After that, my hair already feels so soft, even though it's still wet. I gently squeeze out the water with a t-shirt or a microfiber towel. This is a lot less harsh on your hair, so if you have uh, breakage or you're prone to damage, I highly recommend using one of these two methods to dry your hair versus using a regular towel. Also try to avoid putting your hair up in a towel sort of turban, that's also damaging to your hair. And then I usually like to air dry my hair, I don't wanna use heat. I also am not gonna brush my hair until it's almost dry. And by doing all of this, my hair looks and feels so strong and so shiny and healthy. So how often should you use rice water into your hair routine? Personally, for my hair type, I like to use it about once a week, but depending on how greasy or dry your hair is, you may wanna use it more often, two to three times a week, and some people even use it daily. The drier your hair is, you're probably gonna to wanna to stick to one to two times a week, and the more greasy your hair is, you can do it more often. But overall, incorporating rice water into your weekly or daily routine will leave noticeable differences on the overall health and shininess and strength of your hair. There's a reason why it's been used widely by women all over the 
world, especially in Asia, for years and years and years. So that's it. It's so easy, so quick, and very affordable and accessible to do a DIY treatment. I highly recommend trying it out, especially if you want to improve your hair health and make it stronger and shinier. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. I'd also love to know in the comments below if you've ever tried using rice water on your hair as a hair treatment. Make sure you're subscribed to the Lexi Hair channel for more hair content and tutorials, and we'll see you next one. Bye!